Biodiversity in Gorongosa National Park. Gorongosa National Park is located in the central part of Mozambique. It was originally made as a hunting reserve in 1920, but in 1960 was converted to a national park by the Portuguese. It is currently restoring the population of its wildlife after a civil war in the country killed many of its animals between 1977 and 1992. The restoration of the park, being promoted by the Mozambique government and the Carr Foundation, is quickly restoring the populations of many species, but some, such as elephants, buffalo, and zebra, are slower in returning to their large pre-war populations. In this project, I looked at between 250 to 300 photos taken by wildlife cameras stationed throughout the park. I had to look at the pictures and identify what animals are present and how many there are. By identifying the animals, I am, help I am helping the park get a general idea of how much the different species populations are rising. When there's a large number of individuals, it means that a species may be back to their pre-war levels. But if, a small, if there's a small number, it means that the species may not be back to their old level yet. To do this, you must first create an account on wildcamgorongosa.org. The site will then give you a picture and a list of possible species. You will then click on the species you think is in the picture, and the screen will show up with a few pictures of the species, and two species that this species are most often confused with. Once you are sure that you have selected the correct species, you tell the site how many there are, what behavior they are currently showing, and if there are any young present. I was able to identify 206 animals throughout the pictures that I looked at. Of these 206 animals, I was able to place them in 20 separate species. The chart on the bottom shows the 20 species that I found and the number of individuals that were in each. Of the 206 individuals I identified, 100 of them were baboons, which is the picture on the top, 32 were impalas, which is the picture on the bottom, and 15 were waterbucks, which is the picture in the middle. Although we do not know what their total populations were at the end of the Civil War, we do know that their populations are rising back to healthy numbers based on the amount identified in the pictures. I was also able to identify 13 warthogs, six wildebeest, which is the picture in the bottom middle, four hartebeest, four elephants, picture on the left, four niala, which is the picture in the bottom right, and four porcupines, the picture in the top right. Each of these species still needs more time to reach their pre-war levels based on the amount that I identified. I also identified three reed bucks, which is the picture on the left, three wild dogs, three vervet monkeys, which is the picture in the mid right, three oribi, the picture in the mid left, and three bush pigs. I also found two civets, which is a picture on the right, one hare, one bushbuck, one honey badger, and one leopard. Because I was not able to identify many individuals of these species, I would say that they still need more time to reach their pre-war levels. And these are my citations.